Today is the start of Earth Month, and all through April, CBS Philadelphia is taking you across the region to show you how climate change is helping to drive extinction. CBS Philadelphia's Brandon Golder begins our coverage with an innovative solution to protect animals from being hit by cars. Roads are what connect us from one place to another. While a pathway for humans, they can be a barrier to animals. As humans continue to dominate the landscape in New Jersey, we need to figure out ways to better protect our wildlife. Particularly from cars, which hit and kill animals that need to cross these roads to get to different habitats in order to breed, feed, and thrive. Dave Golden with New Jersey Fish and Wildlife. Therefore, they need to uh, be able to, to move throughout our landscape, which has been greatly broken up and fragmented, not only by development, but by roads. Instead of animals going over these dangerous roads, why not help them go underneath? It's a simple concept, right? This isn't rocket science. It's just simply giving wildlife a way to avoid traffic. This is one of two wildlife tunnels built here by the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. They allow amphibians and reptiles like turtles, snakes, and frogs, some of which are at risk of being threatened or endangered, to safely cross at the Aston Pink Wildlife Management Area in central New Jersey. As you look through here that there's there's lighting that can shine through because we have grates over top. And so that's a important design element for these culverts. Fencing on both sides of the culverts entrances channel animals into the tunnels and it's working. We installed these in 2019 and within the fenced area we've had almost a hundred percent reduction in wildlife mortality along the road. New Jersey plans more projects like this statewide to reduce wildlife mortality. Besides building custom culverts, the state is building fencing like this along major highways like the Atlantic City Expressway to guide wildlife toward pre-existing culverts built for storm management. The rationale for doing this is based on um, a growing understanding that roads have a real impact uh, on, on wildlife populations. Besides roads, climate change is also having an impact on wildlife populations. As Earth's temperatures warm up, we travel on roads like the Atlantic City Expressway to places like the Jersey Shore to cool down in the ocean. The very same roads block animals from migrating north to cooler places. In the era of climate change, they are now better suited to breed and forage. And if we don't maintain connectivity in New Jersey, then climate change has an even greater impact on species because they're not able to find the temperatures and the climates that they need to be successful. NJDEP Commissioner Sean LaTourette says like the roads that connect us, our actions are a direct path to what happens to our environment. We need our environment to ensure good health, to ensure public safety, and to ensure that, that we can in, enjoy this world that we share. By creating pathways for animals to connect them to the places where they can survive under the roadways that connect us to the places where we can thrive. Brandon Goldner, CBS News, Philadelphia.